All right, Shalom. Let me start by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, and double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai is the true name of the Heavenly Father, the only begotten Son, who the world refers to as Jesus Christ, and Bahasham is in the name. Rakak Kodash is the Holy Spirit. And also, Shalom to the 144,000 men. The prophets is laboring in the street for the sake of the Abbas and Yahushai. And Shalom to the innumerable multitude, men, women, and children that may be listening in all truth and in sincerity. Shalom. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 1, verse 10. Yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered, and it shall come to pass that in the place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people. There it shall be said unto them, Ye are the sons of the living God. You see that, man? All right, so we're, this, we're the sons of the living God, man. All right, the Israelites, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. All right, you know, we're, you know, we're no longer, uh, well, we are, as a whole nation, we are lost. All right, you know, but the, uh, that mystery of the lost tribes is, you know, we, we we know who we are, all right? The elect is waking up, man, all right? You know, and even, you know, two-thirds, a lot of two-thirds know who they are as well, all right? They just choose not to serve the Lord, but they know that they're Israelites, all right? You know, and, uh, but in this place, we was called, you know, niggas, all right? You know, God is white, okay? So-called white, all right? You know, all these uh, different bywords and proverbs that was labeled upon us due to the curses of Deuteronomy chapter 28. All right. You know, but in the same place, you know, in our captivity, you know, we're being taught that we are the sons of the living God. Starting with the apostles and elders of Great, of great Millstone, man. All right. You know, and their elders, you know, starting with Abba Bivens, you know. Okay. You know, this this word is, is, is going out. You know, like it says in uh second address, you know, uh let me just pull that real quick. Uh, second Ezra chapter six and verse verse twenty seven. Let me start at verse 26. And the men that are received shall see it. You know, the elect who have not tasted death from their birth and the heart of the inhabitants shall be changed and turned into another meaning. For evil shall be put out and deceit shall be quenched. As for faith, it shall flourish. Corruption shall be overcome. And the truth which have been so long without fruit shall be declared. All right. The fruit of the truth is, is being uh, put on forefront, man. All right. You know. Now, let me continue back to Hosea, Hosea 1 and 11. Then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel, southern kingdom, northern kingdom, you so-called blacks, you know, Haitians, Jamaicans, all right, so-called Mexicans, Puerto Ricans, Cubans, all right, Dominicans. All right, so-called Native Americans, northern and southern, coming together. All right, it says the children of it says then shall the children of Judah and the children of Israel be be gathered together, and appoint themselves one head, and they shall come up out of the land for great shall be the day of of Jezreel. All right, you know, the nation of Israel, man. All right, appoint themselves one head. Yahweh Shai. All right, Yahweh Ba Shem All right, this is. This is happening right now, man, as we speak. Okay? You know? Like, even Yahweh Shah quoted uh, Psalms 82. All right? And in, uh, in 5 and 6. All right? Ye are gods, man. All right? We are gods, man. All right? In the nation of Israel, we are, we've never been taken away. All right? Uh, let me see here. This is 
Acts chapter 13, verse 26, it says, Men and brethren, children of the stock of Abraham, and whosoever among you fear of God, to you is the word of this salvation sent. All right? You know, so this Holy Scriptures was written for the children of Israel, man. All right? These are the, the children of Israel. Is, we we can only fear Yahweh Bashim Yahweh man. Let me just prove that here. All right? This is Psalms 22. In verse 23, it says, Ye that fear, Yahweh Shimei praise him. All ye the seed of Jacob, glorify him and fear him. All ye the seed of Israel. Okay? The nation of Israel. We can only fear Yahweh Shimei This book was written for our salvation, man. All right? For us to be in that remembrance of salvation. Okay, only to the nation of Israel. All right, we are not, the nation of Israel is not done away with, man, impossible. All right, Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 35. Uh, let me start at, let me start at 31. It says, Jeremiah 31 and 31, Behold, the days come, saith the Lord, Yehovah Shemel Shad, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel. And the end with the house of Judah. And this is backed up in the book of uh, Hebrews. All right. Old Testament, New Testament, talking about the new covenant to the nation of Israel. All right. It says, not according to the covenant that I have made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break. Although I was in husband unto them, saith the Lord, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts and will be their God and they shall be my people. All right, because we're going to be finally on one accord with Yahweh Bashim Yahweh All right, the house of Israel. And they shall teach no more every man his neighbor and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for they shall all know me from least of them unto the greatest of them, saith the Lord. All right, everybody's going to know you how about Shemiah Shah. All right, because now that's how you know we're in the old covenant still. All right, because we're still out here teaching. Okay, and um, uh, it says, For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. Verse 35 Thus saith the Lord, you how about Shemiah Shah, which giveth the sun for a light by day, and the ordinances of the moon and the stars for a light by night, which divideth the sea. And when the waves thereof roar, the Lord of hosts is his name. All right, the Lord controls everything. If those ordinances depart from before me, saith the Lord, then the seed of Israel also shall cease from being a nation before me forever. All right, you know, so if, if the sun, moon, and stars wasn't here, man, all right, the Lord wouldn't be dealing with only the nation of Israel, all right, before his face, man. Okay, but these these things are still here all right you know everybody can literally see it with their eyes if they're able to see all right these things are still here so the nation of israel is still here all right it says verse 37 thus saith the lord if heaven above can be measured and the foundations of the earth searched out beneath i will also cast off all the seed of israel for all that i have or for all that they have done saith the lord all right, you know, but the Lord hasn't done that, man. All right, what they say, 5% of the ocean has only been discovered, man. This place would never be discovered, man. All right, not by Esau Edom. All right, only by the children of Israel, man. And we're going to get that ability in the kingdom of heaven. All right, you know, with those new bodies. All right, that new changing. Okay. And um, let me get uh, Romans here. This is Romans chapter 11 and 1. It says, I say then, have the Most High cast away his people? God forbid. For I also am an Israelite of the seed of Abraham of the tribe of Benjamin. You see that? Have the Lord cast away his people, man? God forbid, man, which means no. And this is New Testament, man. All right. See, that's how you know Christians don't read, man. They're they're little they're they puppets, you know, they're indoctrinated, 
The Lord has blinded them. All these things put together. All right. This is Revelations uh, chapter 22 and verse 11. It says, he that is, uh, Salaki, a wrong one. Revelations 2, 22 and 14. Salaki, that's uh, not the one I wanted there either. Uh, Revelations 21 and 20. Revelations 21 and verse 21. Lucky. Revelations 21 and 12. It says, And had a great wall. Uh, let me start at verse 10. Revelations 21 and 10. And he carried me away in the spirit to a great and high mountain. And showed me that great city, the holy Jerusalem, descending out of heaven from the Most High, having the glory of God. And her light was like unto a stone most precious, even like a jasper stone, clear as crystal. And had a wall great and high, and had twelve gates, and at the gates twelve angels, and names written thereon, which are the names of the twelve tribes of the children of Israel. Okay? This is the elect, all right? Descending, you know, descending down, man. All right? And you've seen a great mountain, all right? A great wall with the twelve gates, man. All right? When the kingdom of heaven is established, all right, there's going to be 12 gates, man. All right? For the 12 tribes of the uh, of the children of Israel, man. No other nation can be saved. All right? This is all about a lineage. The Lord deals with lineage. All right? What he said in uh, Sirach or Ecclesiasticus, Sirach. All right, and the Apocrypha. All right, Sirach 33. One second. All right, Sirach 33 and verse, I believe it's verse 10. This is Revel uh, Sirach. Ecclesiastes chapter 33 and verse 10 it says and all men are from the ground and Adam was created and must knowledge the Lord divided them and made their ways diverse some of them have been blessed and exalted and some of them have he sanctified and said near himself but some of them have he cursed and brought low the nation of Edom all right, according to Isaiah the 34th chapter and the fifth verse, all right, the nation of the Lord's curse. You can even look in the Zodavan's dictionary, man. All right, uh, the one nation that was cursed, man, roughly, roughly uh, paraphrasing. All right, it says, but some of them have he cursed and brought low and turned out of their places. As the clay is in the potter's hand, so fashion it at his pleasure, so man is in the hand of him that made him to render them as liketh him best. Good is set against evil. The nation of Israel, the nation of Edom, all right, really these other nations as well, all right, assume it to uh, Psalms 83, they make a tumult, all right, to keep the name of the children of Israel from our remembrance, roughly paraphrasing, all right, starting with the with the, uh, with the the so-called white people though, man, all right, Esau, Edom, okay? It says, uh, good is set against evil and life against death, all right? Sin against righteousness, man. So is the godly against the sinner. Okay? And the sinner against the godly. You know? So is the sinner against the godly, man. All right? You know? So the nation of Israel is still here today, man. All right? And you, and you Edomites are here today, man. Okay? All right? The Edomites are not done away with, man. All right? Assuming the, uh, the book of Obadiah, all right, we're going to have you in captivity for a thousand years, man. All right. You know, shall be enslaved for a thousand years, man. All right. So with that, you know, Lord willing, this video is edifying. I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, and double honors to the apostles and elders, great millstone, peace and mercy to the house of David. All right, you know, and the scriptures also say, you know, who changed uh, the truth into a lie, man? Esau, Edom, man. All right. 
So with that, I'm going to say shalom and a blah, 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 shalom.